Hi everyone, um, I'm Aiden. Uh, I'm a full stack developer. Um, I have started playing around with a, uh, it's not new, I guess, I suppose, relatively speaking. Um, it's been around for a few years now, um, MicroPython. Uh, I work day in, day out with Python uh, at a web app kind of level. Uh, we don't do anything efficient because we don't have to. Uh, MicroPython is the opposite of that. You're taking something that is quite high level. Um, a lot of the um, uh, uh, work is kind of extracted away and you don't really see a lot of it, but there is a lot of overhead. Um, with MicroPython, it kind of takes these high level con um, concepts, uh, simple things like instantiating like a hash map or a dictionary, uh, instantiating a list. It's super easy, super nice, but it's also super light. Um, I have been playing around with that on uh, this uh, microcontroller called uh, ESP8266. Uh, there's a bunch of different variants of it. Um, basically what it is, is it's kind of like an Arduino, but an Arduino that is better. Um, and I say that because it does everything an Arduino do, can do without all the ridiculous hats that have to go on top of it. Um, uh, the one that I use has a uh, full TCP IP stack built in. Um, there's an alternative of it called the ESP32 that also has Bluetooth. Um, and then it also comes with all the other niceties around uh, GPIO and hardware timers and all that kind of stuff. MicroPython's great because it ties in all of this stuff directly into it. It's, uh, it's built around, or at least a version of it is built around these modules. Um, and it allows you to do just real simple things like getting on the web on a microcontroller with 15 lines of code. Um, and that's kind of amazing. Um, it's on the slides, but I linked a GitHub uh, project that I'm just starting to work on. And very basically all it does is goes out to an external uh, web API, pulls in a current date time, serves it up, and it is ridiculously lightweight and it's really quick. Um, and again, all in a way, in a really simple to use uh, API interface uh, where all the work around uh, the connecting up networks and uh, all the protocols and everything are hidden away. You just fire up whatever URL you want to get to, do your get, do your post, whatever, and you don't really have to worry about it. Um, yeah, uh, the, the really good thing about it is um, uh, we can use it for um, kind of educational tools. Uh, a colleague of mine uh, who I got onto a, uh, about this kind of stuff has uh, started using them within uh, a few uh, coding clubs that he, uh, he takes. Um, and it's really cool because up until then it was Raspberry Pi or uh, Arduino. Uh, Raspberry Pis are great, but like they do require a little bit of figuring around with uh, setting up images and all that. And Arduino is, it's nice, but it's still pretty much C++. This is pretty much plug in uh, your device up to whatever computer you're using to start writing Python. It's all really ready to go. Um, it's got some great uh, support from uh, like people like JetBrains. I've got now like a uh, public support for um, uh, integration into their, um, uh, into the IDE, um, and that's really, really great. Um, I use it at home, and it just makes uh, compiling code and firing it up to the um, uh, microcontroller super easy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry I don't have the slides. It's really cool. I think you guys should use it. <laughs>